All right, we're just going to finish up the equation of a circle notes. Once we finish this page, that's really all you need. But I have some challenge problems I might do just because I think we'll have more time on the video, which you're welcome to watch and do if you'd like. All right, so for each of the following, now instead of writing the equation of the circle, we're going to use the equation of a circle to pick out the center and the radius. So remember, it's x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals the radius squared. That's the formula. Let me zoom in a little bit. Okay. The center is h and k. So our center, h, is 5, and k is 1, just in the same spot in the formula. To find the radius, since this is the radius squared, we need to take the square root of whatever is there, so the square root of 64, which is 8. That's it. Just use the formula to pick out the pieces you need. For this one, we have our h and k. Remember, though, that the formula is x minus h and y minus k squared, right? So here, since these are negative, then the center has to be 6. But since this changed signs, it means that it's really the opposite. 6 and negative 11. And the radius, remember, this is already squared. So we need to take the square root of it to get the actual radius, the square root of 58. Now let's see if we can break that down. Let's see, 58 divided by 2, 2 and 29, that's prime, and this is prime, so this is simplified radical form. And please re leave it in simplified radical form and not in decimal form. All right, so there is a circle whose equation is x minus 4 squared plus y minus, or y plus 2 squared equals 81. And we want to know, is 4, 7 on this circle? Well, in the formula, the x and the y stand for a point on the circle. So we're just going to plug those in and see what happens. So 4 minus 4 squared plus 7 plus 2 squared. And we're going to see, does that actually equal 81? Well, 0 squared is just 0, and 9 squared is 81. 81 equals 81. So yes, 4, 7 is on that circle. All right, please pause the video and try the second problem. All right, hopefully you said no. No, that's not a point on the circle. It does not equal, so it doesn't make sense. All right, that's really all for the formal notes we did together as a class, but I'm going to do a couple challenge prompts for anybody that wants to stick around. All right, challenge problem number, I guess, letter A. Write the equation of a circle with a diameter with endpoints negative 14, 1, and negative 10, 9. So I'm just going to draw myself a little diagram. Here's our center of our circle. We have a diameter. This is negative 14, 1, and this is negative 10, 9. All right. The equation of a circle, x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared requires that you know a couple things. So we know the radius, the, the center, and really a point on the circle if necessary. We definitely have two points on the circle, um, but we don't have the center right now. But it says this is a diameter, which means it crosses through the center. How, like if this is a segment and this is in the middle, what formula would you use to figure that out? Well, the center is the midpoint, right? So we would want to use the midpoint formula, x plus x over 2 
y plus y over 2. That will give us the center of the circle. Okay? It's a coordinate. So here we have negative 14 plus negative 10 over 2 and 1 plus 9 over 2. So negative 24 over 2 and 10 over 2, which means the center of this circle is negative 12, 5. So now we have h, which is negative 12, and we have k, which is 5. All right. Then we have a couple options. The thing that I'd like to do that just popped into my head, although there are different options, is to find the radius. We need the distance, because remember it's a distance, from here to here. So for distance, we can use the distance formula. And I'm going to use the center coordinate and one of the endpoints to find the radius. This is going to give me the radius. All right. So we have negative 12 minus negative 10, which is going to be plus 10 squared, plus 5 minus 9 squared. Four plus 16. So the radius is the square root of 20, which I'm going to leave like that for the moment. So the radius is the square root of 20. And I'm going to fill in the formula around what we just wrote. So x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals the radius squared. And we're just going to write it simplified. So this is going to be x plus 12 squared plus y minus 5 squared equals 20. What do you think of that? So we use this distance formula. We use the midpoint formula. We use the circle formula. There's a lot going on in that problem. None of it should be too hard for you. None. Okay. But showing you and you trying it are two different things. So look for some practice if you're in my class in the yellow notebook um, or below on the blog. There should be some practice there, too. So definitely try to practice some. And I'm going to start this, but if we don't have time because this runs out, I don't know that I'm going to finish it on another video. Write the equation of a circle that is tangent. Remember, tangent means it touches at one point. Tangent to the circle or to the x-axis with a center located at 4, negative 6. All right. So 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. There's the center. And tangent means this circle is going to touch the x-axis at one point. So then how long would the radius be? Wouldn't it be 6? that's how far it is from the center to the the x-axis so the equation of that circle would be x minus 4 that's the center squared plus y plus 6 squared equals 6 squared which is 36. so that one's not super hard if you know the definition of tangent and you can picture what that means i always would draw one it helps all right equation of a circle done